Hi, I am Cesar. I will guide you through the correct installation of Pavone System Wigging System. Come on, learn with me. Optimal weighting, mechanical constraints, frictions. Optimal weighting, maximum the load capacity for each load cell. The correct calculation of the capacity of the load cells is essential in order to get the best performance from the weighting system and to guarantee a long useful life to same system. We recommend to use the load cells at a maximum of 70 to 80% of their normal capacity and to regularly check that they are correctly oriented while the installation is being carried out. Loading area Off-center load cells are able to weight correctly within the limits of the area stated on the datasheet. For example, if a load cell is being used that is guaranteed for an area of 40 per 60 cm, we are certain that by applying a load at any point of a structure of such dimensions, the detection will be correct. By installing a structure with a larger size than the depth state on the datasheet or by applying an object that protrudes from the structure, it is possible to damage the off-center load cell and, in any case, obtain an incorrect weight value. Load distribution In case of weighting of a structure with four supports, Consider that the load will not be uniformly distributed and that the 85 to 90% of the applied load will be distributed on just three supports. Solidity and stability of the structure for optimal weighting. Structure with three support legs. This condition offers an advantage as regards the correct distribution of the load. The structure must be sufficiently solid and stable in order to guarantee correct weighting. For this reason, we recommend to provide connecting bars of adequate size if needed in order to optimize the mechanical function of our system. Structure with four support legs. Also, when four support legs are present in the weighting system, must necessarily be anchored in a adequate way, so that solidity and stability as well as correct weighting may be assured. Frictions due to connecting pipes. The more a weighting structure is free from friction, the more the weighting system is precise. When piping are present, make sure that the pipes that have to be anchored to the weighting structure are closed and aligned to the nozzle to which they will be clamped. Flexible hoses and flexible couplings. With regard to the coupling of pipes, we recommend to always use flexible hoses or adopt adequate solution aimed at keeping the weighting system free from friction mechanical constraints thus assuring that uh, the weighting system is carried out in a steady mode and the whole scale in the indicating weighting is repetitive. Anchoring the bracket for pipes. Alternatively, place the first anchored bracket in the horizontal section, as far as possible from the weighting structure at least 40 times the diameter of the pipe. Check the correct installation. To verify the correct mechanical installation and the effectiveness of the weighting system, perform the following tests. Carrying out a zeroing of the weighting indicator of the load cell. Apply a no load to the center and then to all the corners. The indicated weights should be repetitive and the weighting system should return perfectly to zero before the performance of each load test. This simple test assures that the weighting system is reliable. In case of weighting system with several load cells, repeat this operation in correspondence of each load cell. Load and unload each cell, applying a no load and check that the value indicated in the display is steady and repetitive in relation to all points. Verify as well that the weight indicator returns to zero before carry out any loading operation. The satisfaction of above mentioned condition guarantees the correct function of our weighting system. 
Bye, stay tuned.